Hi, my name is Lindsay Donhauser, and I will be your co-instructor this semester for EDT 504. I wanted to introduce myself and give you a little bit more information about my background. So hopefully we can build um, a little bit of a deeper connection since this is an online course and we won't be meeting in person. So currently I am an instructional designer at the Watts College of Public Service and Community Solutions uh, at the downtown campus uh, for ASU. I have worked for ASU for about 12 years, though I joined the ASU community in 2004 uh, when I came here to Tempe uh, to do my graduate coursework, uh, initial graduate coursework. Um, I've taken a little bit of a meandering path to become an instructional designer, which is true for many of the instructional designers I've met in the field. Um, so I've had a variety of job titles, uh, including composition instructor, uh, where I taught English 101, 102, um, business writing courses, and actually some creative writing courses. I have been a copy editor and graphic designer for a for-profit home builder. Um, I've also uh, done some project management work in building training, and uh, now I'm an instructional designer, uh, which is the job I think I love the most. So I mentioned I've had a bit of a winding path to get to this particular point in my life. So I've been everything from a first-generation college student a initial uh, master's student in the MFA program of creative writing uh, here at ASU um, as I worked for a while, uh, then became a returning adult learner, working mom, ASU online student, and finally a graduate of this Mary Lou Fulton Learning Design and Technologies program. So I just want you to know that I understand what a lot of you are dealing with as I've been a graduate student twice, uh, both single in my 20s and married with a child and working full time. Um, I just want you to know it took me four years to get through the program because I could only take one class a semester and had to take a few semesters off when my daughter was born. So I completely understand the variety of obligations that you're trying to balance and I appreciate your efforts in the course. So why instructional design? Um, I was burnt out of teaching uh, after about five years and I just wasn't happy supporting students from a staff role. I really wanted to get closer to the faculty in the classroom. So I was project managing for a sustainability training program uh, and ended up taking on some instructional design tasks. Uh, I enrolled in a few courses at Mary Lou Fulton just to kind of learn more, but I ended up falling in love with the creative and self-directed aspects of the job and pursued my MEV. I knew that I was going to stay at ASU once I graduated, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I was closer to the classroom and the faculty teaching undergraduate and graduate courses. Um, I love being part of ASU's get it done culture, and I love Watts College culture of um, growing individual talents, work-life balance, and the faculty and staff here just have a great appreciation for instructional design work and how we support the mission of the university, and I love that. Why am I excited about EDT 504? Because this class, this exact class, is the one that solidified my personal desire to finish pursuing my MED. Um, I was in the process of finishing a graduate certificate, uh, which ASU used to offer in educational technology, and this was the last course. I literally didn't think I'd be able to finish it, um, but I dug in during the last few weeks and made it happen and realized that this was what I needed to be doing with my life. So I mentioned I'm a working mom um, and my inspiration is my daughter, Maya, who is almost five. Uh, she is a very bright, intelligent girl um, and I just love watching her explore the world and learn how to do all kinds of new things. Uh, our biggest hobby recently has been Lego uh, and this was her last project, which was Cinderella's Carriage uh, with Fairy Godmother in tow. Thanks for watching.